Hey guys, I'm Ernest. We're gonna talk today about a multimeter. Make sure to like and subscribe, comment on this video if you have any questions. Um, also follow us on our forum on upfix.com. So if you want the full URL, it is forum.upfix.com. You know, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. The multimeter, one of the most handy tools you can have in your disposal uh, for troubleshooting, diagnosing anything in a vehicle, and a lot of other applications as well as in households. But anything with electronics, your multimeter is the go-to. Um, and this is the Fluke 115, and I'm going to be kind of explaining a brief rundown of what it does, how you can use it to help assist you further in your troubleshooting. I have two probes, and there's nothing different between them other than they're just two different colors. However, it does make a difference where you put it inside here. So you have the calm right here in the middle, which is black, and then you have the red on this uh, right side. And calm just means common, which means ground, essentially. And then you have all the other uh, symbols here, like the ohm, resistance, and current, the voltage. Um, so we're going to be kind of running it down here and just kind of showing you what these symbols mean and how you can use it to help you uh, troubleshoot further. All right, so you see there's a dial knob here. And basically, your multimeter could be different. Um, it could start with um, a different range of voltage uh, and then give you different ranges of current to test. This one's kind of more uh, just the three symbols for the voltage. Uh, the first one we don't use as much in the automotive world. It's uh, alternating current. Uh, we usually deal with direct current in the vehicle. Uh, so we use this little, um, if you can see up close, there's like this um, straight line here with three dotted lines underneath. Um, the wavy line is the alternating current. So a lot, it'd be used a lot more in industrial purposes, um, in a household, appliances, etc. Uh, the next thing up we have is the ohm and resistance. And that is this little horseshoe symbol right here. And then you have the, what I call the beep test to make sure that you're getting connectivity and then you have the diode and transistor and even capacitor testing on this last one. This last symbol would be kind of like a little arrow with a line going through it. That's indicating the diode. And then also you have the capacitor right here symbol. So anything with uh, axial surface mount capacitors, etc. Uh, now Ohm law, basically Ohm's law consists of three things, voltage, current, and resistance. If you think about voltage um, being like the water tank and being supplied with a whole bunch of water, as this analogy was once put to me, and current is the actual water itself running through the line of the faucet, the sink, and resistance is actually like the hand knob. It's basically controlling how much uh, voltage you're getting, how much current is going through uh, in a circuit board circuitry. So basically, it's stepping it down from 12 volts, you know, and then the current going down in resistance. You might have something like a diode, transistor, resistor. All those things are stepping down the voltage to go to a certain designated area of the circuit board. Um, and anywhere along the line in the circuit board, things can fail. That's pretty much all these, what these symbols mean right here. Um, and of course, I'll be showing you component testing and how you can use each and one of these um, and how it will show on this LCD screen. Now, when you're looking for a multimeter, uh, things you're looking for may suit your purposes differently uh, depending on what kind of test probes you want to buy. Um, you know, Amazon has a lot of different kind. These right here are very fine point probes. They're great for testing uh, harness plugs in a vehicle. Uh, they're very sharp, so be careful. There's all different kinds of applications. If, you, if you're in appliances and you're hooking it up, there's banana uh, style alligator clip testing probes. Uh, we typically tend to use the sharp probes to test the wire harness, the plug, the battery, etc. So these work great. Uh, the factory stock ones are a little bit more thicker than these. These are very fine point ones. So, and they're pretty cheap to buy a replacement. You can use any kind of third party test probes as long as you don't put for the most applications, if you're not in the industrial and working with serious applications, um, then you would not be wanting to put it on the left side with all these symbols is where you want to put it in. 99% of this multimeter use is going to be on the right-hand side with all the voltage, resistance, current, etc. Now, 
these multimeters also have a fuse built into it. So if you're testing serious current through components or any kind of apparatus, then anything over 200 milliamps, there's a 10 amp fuse built in here or a 200 milliamp fuse built into this multimeter, depending on what kind you have. Um, if it's over 200 milliamps, you want to switch it over here to this side. But for most applications in a vehicle, you're going to be putting it right here and testing all this components here. If you're serious about doing some diagnostics and troubleshooting, uh, these would be, this one right here is typically about 100, anywhere from 90 to 120 dollars. And I would say this would be a workhorse for your applications, your needs. All right guys, so that's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys learned something about the use of multimeter. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, you guys can follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And also, make sure if you guys like this, join our community. It's forum.upfix.com. We'll see you in the next video.